Turkey. It's a name that might make you think of bustling bazaars, stunning mosques, and delicious kebabs. But today, we're diving deeper into a version of Turkey you've probably never seen. We're going to explore hidden corners, ancient civilizations, and breathtaking landscapes that stretch beyond the tourist maps. From surreal natural wonders to ancient temples, from buzzing modern cities to peaceful villages where time seems to stand still, this journey will reshape your understanding of Turkey. Whether you're planning your next adventure or just looking for some armchair travel, this documentary will take you on an unforgettable journey through a country rich in culture, history, and natural beauty. So buckle up, because what you're about to see will challenge everything you thought you knew about Turkey. Let's start with a few surprising facts that might change how you see Turkey. Did you know that Turkey is home to Gobekli Tepe, the oldest known temple in the world? This site, located in southeastern Turkey, dates back to 9,600 BC and is considered the birthplace of civilization. It's not just older than the pyramids, it's 7,000 years older, shifting our entire understanding of early human societies. And here's a fun twist. Tulips, which you might associate with the Netherlands, actually originated in Turkey. During the Ottoman Empire, tulips were so valuable that they became a symbol of luxury and status. In fact, the time when tulips were most prized was known as the Tulip Era. But Turkey's influence isn't limited to architecture or flowers. Antioch, now called Antakya, was the site of the world's first Christian church. It's where followers of Jesus were first called Christians, and it played a significant role in the development of early Christianity. Then there's the whistling village of Kuskoy, where villagers communicate by whistling across steep valleys, an ancient form of communication known as bird language. It's been used for centuries and is now recognized by UNESCO as a form of cultural heritage. Turkey is full of these cultural surprises that highlight its incredible diversity. Let's head to one of Turkey's most visually stunning, yet lesser known destinations, Lake Salda. You may have heard it described as Turkey's Maldives because of its crystal clear turquoise waters and white sandy shores. But Lake Salda has another, even more intriguing nickname, Turkey's Mars. That's because the lake's unique mineral composition is similar to the surface of Mars and NASA scientists have studied it to better understand Mars's landscape. Imagine standing on these shores and knowing you're on one of the few places on Earth that can give us clues about life on other planets. Lake Salda isn't just a scientific wonder. Its beauty is almost surreal. The water is so clear and pristine that you can see straight to the bottom, and the magnesium-rich beaches make the sand feel like powder beneath your feet. Surrounding the lake are pine forests and hills, perfect for a peaceful walk or picnic. If you're into photography, this is a place where you'll capture some of your most stunning shots. But remember, the area around Lake Salda is protected, so visitors are encouraged to be mindful of the environment to keep this natural treasure as pristine as it is today. And just a short distance away lies Sagalassos, an ancient Roman city perched high in the Taurus Mountains. It's one of the best preserved ancient cities in Turkey, with ruins that still whisper stories of the Roman Empire. Sagalassos, once a thriving metropolis, is now a peaceful archeological site, a perfect complement to the serene beauty of Lake Salda. Next, we're off to Pamukkale, a place so stunning it hardly seems real. Pamukkale means cotton castle, and when you see it, you'll understand why. Imagine a series of white terraces formed by thousands of years of flowing mineral-rich water from thermal springs. Each terrace holds warm water pools that cascade down the mountainside, creating a natural spa unlike any other. But what makes Pamukkale even more special is its neighbor, the ancient city of Hierapolis, this Greco-Roman city was built right next to the thermal springs. Walking through its well-preserved ruins feels like stepping back in time. 
Among the highlights is the Cleopatra Pool, where you can swim among the remains of ancient columns submerged in the warm, mineral-rich water. Legend has it that Cleopatra herself once bathed here. The nearby theater of Hierapolis is another must-see. This grand amphitheater, carved into the hillside, could seat up to 12,000 people in its heyday. Standing there, you can almost hear the echoes of ancient performances. And if you're looking for more, the ancient city of Laodicea, just a short drive away, offers even more ruins, including a stadium and massive water systems that once supported the thriving Roman city. Pamukkale and Hierapolis are a reminder that Turkey's beauty isn't just skin deep. It's layered with history, culture, and nature in ways that few other places on Earth can match. Now, let's shift gears and head to the coast, to a place where ancient ruins and modern luxuries sit side by side, Bodrum. Bodrum has long been a favorite for both history buffs and party goers alike, and it's easy to see why. By day, you can explore the impressive Bodrum Castle, built by the Knights of St. John in the 15th century. Inside the castle, you'll find the Museum of Underwater Archaeology, where treasures recovered from shipwrecks around the Aegean Sea are displayed, giving us a fascinating glimpse into the ancient maritime world. But Bodrum isn't just about ancient history. By night, the town transforms into one of Turkey's most vibrant nightlife spots. From beachside bars to world-famous nightclubs, there's something for everyone, whether you want to dance the night away or enjoy a quiet drink by the twinkling marina. Bodrum's charm lies in its balance. Ancient ruins stand proudly amid modern resorts. Traditional Turkish life coexists with international influences, and its beautiful beaches make it a coastal paradise where history and modern life meet. Halfway through our video journey, make sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe to our channel and help us to discover more fascinating travel destinations for you. Let's move inland to Cappadocia, a place where the landscapes seem to belong on another planet. The fairy chimneys, tall, cone-shaped rock formations, dot the region's valleys and have been shaped by volcanic eruptions and erosion over millions of years. One of the best ways to experience Cappadocia is from the sky. Imagine floating in a hot air balloon at sunrise, gliding over the surreal landscape as the first light of the day illuminates the fairy chimneys, cave dwellings, and ancient churches carved directly into the soft rock. It's an experience that feels magical. But the magic of Cappadocia doesn't stop with its landscape. Beneath the ground are underground cities, carved out of the rock and used as shelters during times of invasion. These cities, like Derinkuyu, could house thousands of people. Walking through these labyrinthine tunnels, it's easy to imagine what life must have been like for the people who lived there. Cappadocia is also home to the Goreme Open Air Museum, where you'll find churches carved into the cliffs, their walls adorned with frescoes that date back to the 10th century. These churches offer a fascinating glimpse into the lives of the early Christians who sought refuge in this remote region. For a truly unique experience, visit Uchisar Castle, a towering rock fortress that offers panoramic views of the surrounding valleys. And don't miss Pasabag Valley, also known as Monks Valley, where some of the region's most striking fairy chimneys can be found. For our next stop, we're heading to Mount Nemrit, where colossal statues of ancient gods sit atop a mountain, watching the sun rise and set. These massive stone heads, some standing as tall as 30 feet, were built by King Antiochus I in the first century BC to honor himself and the gods. Mount Nemrut is one of Turkey's most unique archeological sites, not just because of the statues, but because of its remote and awe-inspiring location. Visiting at sunrise or sunset is an unforgettable experience as the light casts long shadows over the statues creating an almost mystical atmosphere. Nearby, you can explore the Karakush Tumulus and the Sendere Bridge, 
both testaments to the engineering and architectural skills of ancient civilizations. Next, we move to the Turkish Riviera and the vibrant city of Antalya. Nestled between the Mediterranean Sea and the towering Taurus Mountains, Antalya is a city of contrasts. Here, you can explore ancient Roman theaters, wander through narrow Ottoman streets, and relax on sun-soaked beaches, all in one day. The Aspendos Theater, just outside Antalya, is one of the best-preserved Roman theaters in the world and still hosts performances today. Imagine watching a concert in a venue where Romans once gathered nearly 2,000 years ago. Antalya's old town, Kalaitsi, is a perfect place to wander with its cobblestone streets and Ottoman-era houses. Stop at a local cafe for a cup of strong Turkish tea and soak in the city's rich atmosphere. And just a short drive away, you'll find the stunning Duden waterfalls, where water cascades directly into the Mediterranean Sea, creating a dramatic and beautiful sight. We're closing our journey with Turkey's crown jewel, Istanbul. This city, straddling both Europe and Asia, has been the capital of empires and a crossroads of cultures for centuries. Istanbul is where East meets West, and its energy is palpable. Start your visit with the awe-inspiring Hagia Sophia. This architectural wonder, which has served as a church, a mosque, and now a museum, is a symbol of Istanbul's diverse history. Its massive dome and intricate mosaics are breathtaking. Right next door is the Blue Mosque, with its stunning blue tiles and six minarets, a masterpiece of Ottoman architecture. For a taste of Istanbul's vibrant commercial life, visit the Grand Bazaar, one of the largest and oldest covered markets in the world. Here, you can haggle for everything from spices to textiles to jewelry. If you want to experience the quieter, more traditional side of Istanbul, head to the Balat district. This historic neighborhood is known for its colorful houses, narrow streets, and vibrant cafe culture. Istanbul is a city of contrasts, old and new, east and west, bustling and serene. Whether you're wandering through its historic streets, enjoying a cup of Turkish coffee, or gazing at the Bosphorus, Istanbul will captivate you. We've just scratched the surface of all that Turkey has to offer. From the stunning landscapes of Lake Selda to the ancient wonders of Cappadocia and the bustling streets of Istanbul, Turkey is a country where history and nature collide in the most beautiful ways. Which part of Turkey has captured your imagination? Is it the surreal beauty of Pamukkale, the hidden cities beneath Cappadocia, or the majestic statues of Mount Nemrut? Let me know in the comments what part of Turkey you'd like to explore first. And if Turkey, the gateway to Asia, inspires you, don't miss this upcoming video about the wonders of Asia. There's a whole world out there, and we've only just begun to explore it.